Red. Blue versus red, really. Yeah, absolutely, and it and it just seems to be closing in further and further, and that's probably part of the reason why, in combination with the forward HQ, that this game is so short. You got a heavy rifleman push against Volks, one squad of grenadiers, and, and forward HQ. I mean, just a whole bunch of manpower. All these riflemen and just the free free riflemen coming out of the medic tent. And just want to mention that the half track is up and also got upgraded for 50 cal. So we don't usually see 50 cal. Um, I just like how Sergeant Morello is actually combating the forward HQ. The forward HQ being quite stationary. He, uh, Sergeant Morello actually has his own reinforcing point. So pretty cool. And it's also going to do a really pack good job shots. at it. Yeah, taking some shots from uh, a random pack. But I definitely think that uh, half track is a pretty good decision. Mor Morello definitely knows what he needs to do. And well, the next we go. next goal is get that forward HQ down so that it, you know you get rid of the uh, reinforce point and everything out in front. And then your next goal from there is get rid of that pack as best you can, or at least back it off. Now, what I actually like what Morello is doing, he's actually split up his force. I mean, he's putting pressure on the uh, northwest side of Emperor Dodo's base capping his points, he's putting pressure on the middle, I mean, Emperor Redoto really cannot um, keep his forces together right now, he has to split them up and that effectively makes them weaker. He obviously needs to keep that forward HQ intact or else that's going to be a very big loss for him. Yeah, without that point right now, you know, with the with the lack of a medic bunker and the lack of grenadiers on the field, you know, folks' grenadiers, as soon as bars hit, are just, they're not as effective anymore. Sure, vet, hey, you know, going through the vet process with your infantry helps, but it, it's not enough. And he, he's lost a couple of squads as a result of a very bolts heavy strat. Actually, yeah, I would definitely say so. I actually like how he got that veteran suit to vet too. Um, the only problem is that Sergeant Morello is so smart. Um, I know I'm totally, uh, you know, uh, blowing his trumpet, but like Sergeant Morello has flame flamethrowers. And if you guys know, a veteran suit too, um, folks grenadiers get this uh, elite armor, so that just um, gives them less bullet damage, but more flame damage. So that that you know, it's basically going to be countered by that those flamethrowers. Yeah, and we get um, an MG just suppressing a rifle squad, which for uh, Morello really isn't a bad thing. You know, if if he loses a couple of guys, the the medics will come up, pick him back up again. And he gets free squads that way. Right? <laughs> exactly, it, it's no problem. We have whatsoever. artillery coming down. <laughs> this artillery being such a hassle, taking a whole bunch of Vos Grandiers out. Now notice, notice how some of them are just crawling there. I mean, if he had that medic state medic bunker up, they could be picking up the wounded. Um, obviously, Morello has gone for infantry doctrine because he has that howitzer shoot. Yeah, well, the, you know, the Howie barrage is, is definitely one of those things where um, once that gets brought out onto the field, particularly when you get a forward HQ set up like this, hey, you're going to be dealing with a lot of choke points. You've got a lot of risk of, of losing quite a bit that way just out of a single barrage. That's right, I think infantry was pr a pretty good selection as well for uh, Doctrine. Um, armor obviously we would not make sense because Morello does not have much armor on the field. Um, he obviously has a lot of infantry. Um, airborne might be okay because Morello actually has a big surplus of ammunition. So those strafing runs could easily take out a lot of Volksgrandiers and easily um, be t uh, closed in for the kill. But infantry Doctrine is nonetheless a pretty good choice as well. Well, Infantry Doctrine is solid all the way around. The only thing that you have to worry about knowing that he's gone Blitz is the Tiger. A Tiger, but that comes out, luckily, it comes out a lot later in the game. Right, right. And just making sure you're prepared for that. We have Mortar out of the forward HQ. Okay, so then that's with the help of T2, obviously, from the Krieg Barracks. And just going to be providing a lot of hassle on those uh, riflemen. Obviously if uh, some of these riflemen are killed the medics can come and pick them up. And Morello actually has another medic station up so that is effectively four medics on the field at one time. Um, that just means that he is going to be getting even more faster rate of uh, riflemen. And as you guys can see another rifleman squad coming out. Another howitzer shoot coming uh, down as well. 
This is putting Emperor Dodo in a very bad position. Well, and this is where the, uh, once again, we keep going back to the, uh, you know, the forward HQ on Samoa coming out with a forward HQ like that. It's risky. Um, you know, it's like in the quad cast that we saw with the Brits moving up forward. It's a very similar kind of, okay, I'm going to invest a lot of materials into this area, but if I lose that area, then I'm out all of that investment. Exactly, then you might as well, in a way, you could call it a, a good game. Um, now, I'm not exactly, yeah, like I said, I'm not exactly sure about the forward HQ. There's one map that I'm aware of that uh, forward HQ works quite well, and that's because it used to be casted a lot about on uh, Company of Heroes Online, and I believe that's Saint Mir du Mont, that quite rectangular map. Um, a lot of people. It's not to a real map. <laughs> it's okay, fine. It's not a real map. Whatever. <laughs> Apparently on Koho it was, <laughs> but um, you know a lot of people would build uh, forward HQs on there. But that sort of locked the map to forward HQs only because you know everybody would just use that. But anyway, back onto the replay. Just loads of blobs right now. Sergeant Morello not even afraid of this mortar, taking four casualties. Grenade coming down. Now he is retreating. He's obviously realized he's lo lost a lot right there, but obviously not too afraid Ooh. because their medics picking another bomb squad down. From that quad as well. Quad ready. Yeah. <laughs> so very good job with the quad. Yeah, we have flamers flanking around, uh, taking out the pack, doing a little damage, getting back out again. Uh, map control still pretty much in the same situation that it was before. I'm kind of surprised, though, to a certain extent, that we haven't seen more in the way of tech from the Vermont player. He's and obviously in a very bad position. Yeah, that would indicate to me that the you know the manpower drain was pretty serious. Ooh, and the already shot taking out another Volks squad, and uh, and you you'd be hoping to see at least a little armor mixed in with this, but at this point he's really on the back foot. And he definitely is. I mean, if he doesn't have the resources, then you obviously cannot tech up. You can't get your tanks. You can't get anything that you really really need. Um, that's why it's so important to drain your opponent of actually... Now, did he actually destroy that pack with a bullet fire? That was really strange. <laughs> well, it, it was incredibly low health from uh, some long-range pack battles. Oh, was uh, I? I thought that was very strange. Were shooting at each other. But anyway, yeah, as, I was, as I was saying, uh, just uh, whenever you're trying to win a game, just deprive your enemy of resources, because if they can't tech up, if they can't get those advanced units, then that puts them in a very bad position. Well, and here's where I think you're, you're going to see pretty much the end of the game. You get uh, two rifle, three rifle, um, and a flamer squad coming up. Uh, you're going to see this forward HQ pushed off probably at this point. Um, you got Blitznades activated. I so think. obviously a move of desperation, I'm thinking, if he's using Blitznades like that. Well, uh, you know, at, at that range, you can do quite a bit of damage, uh, as you see there. And then, you know, with Vet 2 Grenadiers, you're, you're going to be... Kind of push back a little there. Enemy it was obviously a good again, idea, though. Uh, Co uh, costly one idea. One more artillery round on that forward HQ, and it'll go down. It definitely is. I mean, if that howitzer, the uh, the 105 um, howitzer, I mean, it's already built, so obviously it can take it out quite easily as soon as another shot comes down. And we have the uh, the quad just kind of sliding in, just making sure there's no Panzer Command going up. <laughs> Nothing too fishy from Emperor Dodo. And so Morello just capping away, just being very annoying, just depriving um, Dodo of any resources whatsoever. And here we go, the HQ is finally down. Losing, Ooh, and a Grenadier squad. <laughs> losing a Grenadier squad along with the HQ. How unfortunate. And we have Dodo just saying, good game. A welcome back to Sergeant Morellu. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to see an old veteran player kind of coming back to the game. You know, it'll be exciting if the if the patch comes out and we see uh, a few of the people who, uh, you know, kind of back in the 1.7 one days or even in early OF, um, you know, a few of those people coming back and playing. And that's what I that's what I absolutely love about Morellu. I mean, he's just. When I watch his, uh, we used to watch his replays. I just was always fascinated by how um, how he was just so different in his playstyle. So I'm really looking forward to his future replays. Hopefully he'll try and get those up. 
But um, anyway, any closing comments? Uh, forward HQ risky. No medic bunker. Uh, kind of okay. ugly. Semwa forward HQ. No, no. <laughs> or maybe, yeah. uh, maybe, oh. maybe could have worked if he like had a a medic bunker up and maybe changed his style a little bit more. But unfortunately, that didn't work like that. No, other than that, it was great play by Morello. We saw, a, you know, two medic tents up, uh, a lot of harassment, a lot of infantry fighting, um, using those bars to full effectiveness, bringing down those Volks before they really had a lot of uh, vet on them, and so taking them down on the retreat kind of continuously in the process. It was a great game. That was pretty good. Well done, Sergeant Morello and Emperor Dodo. Um, now... Let's go on to the next game. This is just an appetizer, guys. So let's go on to the main course. See you guys soon.